Okay, I'm going to show you what else you need to do to finish your cartoon. So you've polished off your character. You'll see mine here is uh, not quite 100% polished off yet, but it doesn't matter. We're going to use it for our example. So you've painted the lines here. You've added the, the painting if you uh, um, should have, like I showed you in the uh, previous video. So now what you're going to do is you're going to create a document that's eight and a half by 11. So you're going to go File New. And you have saved this as a PNG and we're just going to drag it in and it, you'll just shrink it uh, using the command T tool once uh, we get to the new document. So I'll just give you a trick. Whenever I tell you to create a new document, usually if I say eight and a half by 11, click on print. See eight and a half by 11. Now you could choose to have it in this format or this format. And this may depend on the image that you found. So I'm going to say for now, I'm not sure. And I'm going to go and look and come right back. So go to your Google. And I am going to type in cartoon background, cartoon city, cartoon village, space, cartoon uh, background, anything like that. And you're looking for, well, and this is the other thing. You may click on image so that you see several images. And you may also want to write size uh, large. You want bigger usually, okay? And another thing that you might want to do is something that's easy to click and add color in and modify so let's click on this one for example and i have the view image so i see the view and always check okay tons of watermarks not good and that's not unusual so you have to take your time and find one that uh, let's try this one and let's go see what we have here so i'm pretty happy with that and i think i could probably change the color around a little bit and and modify it uh, as well so i'm going to go save image as and save it to where you're going to remember. So max, so that's fine. So uh, then I'm going to, that one was in landscape form. So I'll click over here, create. And now I'm going to go file and make sure that it says uh, Photoshop up here. If you're on a Mac, otherwise PC, it's pretty obvious. So we're going to go place embedded and we're going to open that file. And now we're going to resize it. Okay, so you probably want to fill this in. And if you got a nice size one like I told you to do, it should be pretty much good. So now I'm assuming that this is what I want for my minion. Now you might want to take a little more time to research. So I'm going to, I may want to go and drag my minion, go get them and drag them in so I can get the color swatches. So I'm going to go and grab them. My color swatches are still saved in my swatch panel. So, you know, you may want to put them that way. You don't have, you can command T and shrink them. And, you know, I'll show you a cool little trick here. I'm going to press enter and assume that's the size that I want. Usually you want to, you don't want to put them in the middle. You want to put them on the side following the rule of thirds, which we're going to talk about later. And it usually would be either here or here. Now you have to think the word balance. This is balanced because you got the sun over here and there's got a sense of balance. If I put it here, it does not look good. So you need to think about that and I'll come around and chat with you guys. I'm going to rasterize this. So right click because it's a, some type of fancy graphic. I'm going to go um, command J for duplicate and I'm going to put it over my minion. And I want to just go get the eraser tool because I want to maybe put the minion behind the fence. So I'm going to enlarge my, my brush using my bracket tool. And just okay and down here I would take my time I won't do it because the video will take too long but you get the idea so shrink my brush you know using the bracket tool and maybe make it look like it's behind the fence there so not it doesn't have to be perfect okay, I'm gonna just do that for the purpose of tutorial I think you get what I'm trying to say cool little trick I'm gonna make that invisible for now and in fact I'm gonna delete that for now completely and I'm going to hide the minion by clicking on the eye, unless I need them. So you see, these are the colors, and I would like you to change the colors a little bit. Now, maybe use stuff in the palette or use other colors that are not exactly what you have here. So if we use the paint bucket tool, so here's an example. We're going to, we're going to change this, uh, this yellow. Let's go up here and find a nice bright yellow of some kind. So right here. So I'm going to go here with the G key and, oops, Z, um, will it, oh, I'm on the wrong key. So I got to go over here. So change to bright. So I'm going to go, maybe I want to make uh, that green or something. 
does not look good, but you get the idea. What I want you to do is basically modify this background art a little bit. And just like you did with your minion, use the smudge and uh, you know the tools that we talked about here that uh, were used to uh, change your, your painting of your minion to, you know, so you don't get this kind of like washed out effect where, where you know, use the G key and you know, that one kind of looks okay. But in other words, use these tools over here to, uh, where are they? I might have to change my menu actually in here, but uh, uh, basically the same tools you use to fine tune your minion, okay? Now the last thing you need to do when you're done is go and I'm gonna recommend using a paintbrush and not too thick of a brush, but you're gonna write your name. So I'll write Mark down here. So really important that you put your name and put it in a way where you can kind of see it. And that way, if I print it up, I can see which one is yours. And again, I'll repeat, but you should change a few more colors and play around a little bit more. Sometimes without changing the color, use the smudge and painting tools that uh, the blur tools and all that, that uh, we're showing off in the other tutorial to modify this background art just a little bit, okay? Make a little bit more yours. When you're done, file, save as JPEG, and that's what you're gonna upload. Okay, any questions, please let me know.